All right, here we go. Upstairs. Upstairs. And a new adventure on our first tier four quest. Holy shit. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do our very first Tier 4 quest. And, oh boy, is this going to be exciting. So, let's head on in and talk to Trader Jin here. Uh, also, I've got some stuff that I need to sell. I forgot to sell that to Rekt, so let's sell to her before we do anything else, so that way I don't forget. I also brought some cement with me unintentionally, so we got to take that back to the base and drop it off. Um... So, thanks for the business. Okay, we got in incoming. Let's deal with these yahoos. Yahoo! Okay, they're dead. Uh, let's do, let's look in here too. Uh, I don't want any of that stuff. Don't really want any of that stuff. Okay, let's talk to Jin. Got any special jobs? Opening trade routes four. Um, they're all going to be at the same place. Tell the folks at something handler that our dukes are... Oh, that's like a custom trader... Ooh, that's good. Hurry okay, we can soon. find one, a, a, nice a custom trader location. Okay, now, uh, do you have tier fours? You do! Oh, you don't have any fetches, though, Jed. Shit. Tier four. All right, you know what? Let's let's try... Do this for me. Hostile by Top Minder. Never forget you. Holy shit, this oh, is not going to go you, well. But, um, you know, apocalypse hygiene. Yeah, apocalypse hygiene, exactly. Plus, my wife probably wouldn't appreciate it if you kissed me anyways, Jen. Okay, um, damn it. This, <laughs> this is going to be bad, you guys. This could be so bad. Okay, um, here, let's, um, let's figure out where we're going here. I try to only do... I tried to only do fetch quests because, you know, then you can get the stuff and you don't have to stay there and kill everything else. Um, so let's go to quests and tier four. Let's make this the active quest. And yeah, it's just right down the road. But it's close by and you never know. We might, uh, we might survive, maybe. You guys play some bets? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Timber Johnny. I have, I don't know if I have ever been in here before. Don't remember ever being in there. Okay, let's deal with these guys. We don't want to get too close to this place because it's a, a an irradiated area. It's a tier five custom place. We don't want any interference from outside. So you guys gotta go. Hey, quit dodging. When you see a sledgehammer coming straight for your head, hold still so it could impact. Please. That would be the nice thing to do. Oh Lord Almighty. Okay, so let's uh let's put our luckies on. And I guess. I'm just I'm just gonna put this stuff back in here. I don't want to go all the way back to our other town just to drop it all off. And what I'm also gonna do is we're going to um should I wrench these? I mean, nah, I don't think I will because if I do, it's just gonna load us down with even more stuff. Even though, you know, we'd get some good resources from doing it. I'm not going to take either one of those things. That is not a lootable car. Alright, let's deal with the Biker Billy here. Tough son of a bitch. Alright, so... Uh, let's put that stuff in there, and let's do this. So we have to kill everything in here and also get a satchel. Here we go. Here we go. 
satchel is up above, okay? So that's a good start. Um, it's a little bit fringy here too, which doesn't surprise me. So we have to figure out how to get into the place. Actually, before we do that, let's make sure the outside of the place is completely clear of enemies. I don't think that's an actual POI zombo there. That's just a wanderer. We'll check out the perimeter because here's the thing. When the shit hits the fan, and I do mean when the shit hits the fan, we want to be able to get out of the building and run around the property um, without getting, you know, so far away from the building that we failed the quest, you know? And, of course, any stragglers are not welcome. Okay, let's go around the back here. Again, I'm pretty sure he's just a wanderer. Look at the fun in there, man. Okay. What is this? Oh, these are like tanning beds, like... Lawn chair things at the side of the pool kind of thing. Right? Looks like it. Alright, I don't see any Zeeks out here, so I think we're good on that stuff. The other thing I'm going to do, or the other thing I'm going to try to do, is I'm going to try not to loot a whole bunch. Uh, let's get the place cleared first. Uh, and get the satchel, and then we can worry about looting after the fact. Okay? So, I, you know what? I've got tons of that stuff. I, I don't have tons of bees, so I guess we'll keep the bee, but the rest of the stuff we're not going to do. Okay, so we've been all around the outside. Now we have to figure out how to get in here. Usually there's a light or something that indicates how to get in. Let's go back. I did see an opening back here, so maybe that's where we're supposed to start. There's an opening right there in the glass. Uh, and there's a door, too, and it's unlocked. Okay. Is this... This is... I'm sure that's bulletproof glass, right? Okay. So, we've got three Zeeks that I can see. Uh, none of them are feral. So, these are just normal dudes. Dudes and dudettes. Let's just shoot the cheerleader in the ass and get them all over here at the same time and deal with them. In fact, I'm even going to let them out the door. Because... That way we can, you know, keep the door intact for more dangerous enemies. Off with your heads. Okay, so we got another Zeke right there. Let's close that door. Hey, we've managed to get inside of the Tier 4, so that's a start. That is a start. All right, let's shoot you in the nuts. There you go. And we'll get a bleed on you, too. And we'll take your kneecaps out. Or, or not. Here's a safe. We will check loot. We'll, we'll check, like, safes and stuff, right? But we're not going to loot, like, every single cabinet and garbage bag and that kind of thing. At least not while we're trying to clear the place. Come on. All right, let's take a drink of coffee while we see what we get here. Decent stuff. I have all of that already, but we can always sell it or, you know, do something with it. Okay, so uh, through this door, I guess, that door is locked. But the nice thing is, is if we get rushed, we can run out and close this door and fight them through here. Okay, so we have a kind of a place uh, to retreat. It is framey in this place, man. Okay, so I see Zeke. So we got a lot of leather we can harvest in here later. Okay, so I see three Zombos. Um, he's feral. He's not. And I don't think I can see that other one. 
All right, let's deal with the feral first. Uh-oh. I don't know, did that wake up any of the other ones? Over here, dude. Come get me. Over here. Over here. Uh, you know what? Damn it. Screw you. All right, you're just a walker. It is getting late, though, so we're going to have to... We're going to be dealing with runners uh, on everybody here pretty soon. Okay. So I think that clears this room, right? Anybody else in here? This is an interesting-looking fireplace slash furnace thingamadoodle. I like it. All right, we will check the bookcases, but we'll leave the leather for later. Um, That, I'm going to leave it in there. I can scrap it for paper later, I think. Same, likewise. I'm just trying, you know, I don't know how long this is going to take us, so I'm trying to make sure that our inventory doesn't get bloated too much. There we go. That is a robotic turret schematic. We will learn that. And I think that's all we need to do in this room. Okay, let's proceed. So far, so good, you guys. So far, so good. Yeah. All right, what are we dealing with here? He's not feral. She's not feral. He's not feral. All right, come on, boys and girls. We got a double on that one. All right. She is feral. Um, let's see if we can get a sneaky sneak off on her. There's a zombo over that way, too. Got to get just a little bit closer. Okay, be very quiet. All right. You are a walker. Okay, so you're normal, Zeke. There's two that we have aggroed, though. Oh, he's just a crawler. Okay. Just a crawler. Let's just pop him with our knife and it'll bleed him out. Or kill him out, right? Excellent. Okay, it's going pretty good so far, you guys. Pretty good so far. Um, Should we go that way or that way? Let's just go around the perimeter and then we'll kind of come circle back to the foyer there or whatever that is. All right, we've got a normal there. He's normal. There's a feral, a feral Ronnie McDonnie there. Let's shoot him in the ass and get him out here. What the hell? Oh, I got pushed into the wall. That happens on Ravenhurst. It's really weird. The zombies can push you into the wall. It's like you're in the twilight zone or something. Help, I'm slipping into the twilight zone. Let's wake these guys up. Okay, I see a cheerleader over there. And, ah, shit, a Feral Edgar. There's four zombies in here. Feral Edgar's dangerous. We don't want to mess with him. Um, The cheerleader's not feral. He's not feral. All right, let's see if we can pull him. Oh, shit. Okay, Edgar's been, Ed, Edgar's been aggroed. You are way too fast, dog. Way too fast. Go down. Quit running around all over the place. How am I supposed to bash your head in if you're running around like that? Mother. 
There we go. Okay. We took care of the, the dangerous one. The rest of them are just semi-dangerous. Whew. I don't want to burn my medipack yet. Let's just see if we can handle the rest of these guys. If we take too much damage, though, of course, we're going to have to. How about if we... We could take a soup. That'll give us a little health and some stamina. I must have... Darn it. I must have dropped off my freaking um, mineral waters. That... You know, that button that puts all the stuff into the... The... Uh, you know, the, the bin for you? I think gets me in trouble more times than I can say. Okay, we, we might want to see if we can get some beverage then. There we go. Some yucca juice. And nothing in there. Let's check these two things. All right. Good. So we're good. We're good. I guess this is a kitchen too, so... Let's get some beverage out of here. Maybe. All of this stuff I will loot later. Not going to do it right now. There's some mineral water. Ask and you shall receive. Look at all this beverage we're getting. That's an actual bona fide vending machine. I will take these. And I think we're going to leave the rest just because uh, we got beverage now. We'll loot this. And I think we already hit that. Okay, so let's leave the rest of this for later. Off-camera looting and whatnot. And we go into the next room. There's an ammo pile. That is a, a Marlene, but I can't tell if she's feral or not. Edgar's not feral, so we're good to go. Cowboy is feral. All right, let's see if we can pull Cowboy independent of the rest. Get a nice little headshot right there. Pop. Yeah, we just woke him up, so we're good. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Can we get close enough to pop her with our sledge? <laughs> Maybe not. All right, come on, Edgar. Give you a bleed. I hope our sledgehammer lasts for the rest of this POI because it's uh, it's getting close. And we can't repair it because it's under 100 durability. We're going to pull a lot of leather out of this place, man. That's going to be great. A lot of leather. Okay. Um, Is that the... Into the building? Yeah. Okay, so we've actually cleared the first floor. Look at us and our bad selves. We've cleared the first floor, ladies and gentlemen. All right, cool. Um, let's, before it gets completely dark, um, let's go out to the bike. I guess we're going to, let's bring it back around here. And see if we can offload a few things before we go up to the next floor. Um, it looks like there's probably just two floors on here. Maybe three. I don't know. We'll see. We'll bring this guy around the back since that's the entrance to the place. And park him right here. Okay. So let's see. We don't need magnums we'll drop all this we're going to keep the beverage with us 
Uh, you know what? We don't really need that. We will keep the beer, though. Uh, we don't need the sugar butts. And I want to keep the beverage with us. We could stand to drink, so let's drink the yucca now. And that'll free us up another slot. We'll chuck the jar. And I think we're good. Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually throw that out because I can make it super, super, super easy. Normally I wouldn't do that, but economy of space and all that. We should check these lockers because we might find a backpack upgrade. That we can sell. Is that it for the lockers? There's some kind of weird stuff here. There's a refrigerator on its side. Somebody set up a barricade for the zombies. Uh, nightstands. Let's look at these really quick. We will take a sewing kit. Never understood why you can't make sewing kits. I mean, you can make all kinds of other stuff in the vanilla game, but you can't make a sewing kit. Why the hell not? Doesn't make sense. Does not make sense. We'll scrap that for the leather. All right. Uh, I guess we'll check this because it's right in front of our face. And this might have a backpack upgrade in it. Maybe. Uh, no, but it's got some other good stuff in it. Okay. Um, should we take the painkillers with us? They're going to make us super thirsty, and we would really only need them if we got a concussion, which hopefully we won't. I'm just going to leave them here. All right, you guys. Time for the next floor. Is there something back here? Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's open. Uh, we'll scrap these for leather. I don't care about the brass. Hey, Razor Rex, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, I should have... I want to actually keep the black die. That's the one die that I actually like to use in this game. Especially if we're going to do like a, you know, like a stealth build. Okay, we'll scrap that. Oh, uh, we'll scrap that too because we already have a BDU top. All right, cool. Uh, you know, it's actually a little concerning that this is just wide open. I guess if Zeke's come from the outside, well, they could jump over the bed. Well, you know what? If it happens, we'll just deal with it at the time. All right, here we go. Upstairs. Upstairs. And a new adventure on our first tier four quest. Holy shit. I wonder if I could get them to come over here. Um... Okay. We got enemies on the outside and on the inside. He did. Are they gonna come around the corner? Okay. Well, those zombies are so dumb, they'll probably break out that door to come outside to then try and come inside to get us when they could just go around the corner. So let's let them do that. <laughs> you know what? Let's not be conservative with our medikits. We better be at full health because things just got real here. Things just got freaking real. All right. Uh. Okay, here, let's try something. I mentioned you guys how much I love explosives. I almost broke through the door. Okay. Those guys were waiting for us, man. They were just waiting for us. Okay, we got a ladder going up. So it looks like we have a men's and women's bathroom. Let's go... The satchel is still up higher. Okay, let's go make sure that the patio is clear because this would be a good place for us to retreat to. Wait, is this... Well, that's just normal glass. They could break that with one hit, so... 
Maybe not. We got a weapons bag and a hazmat dude. Let's at least close this. Let's check car weapons bag. Uh, where are you guys at? Oh, they're in that room there. Okay. We'll take them a second to break out of there. Not... Not too much longer than that. Give us something good, game. Give us something good, please. A guitar. <laughs> okay. Guitar is governed by the club skill, which we are terrible at. So that is not something good. Not really, you know? I like the idea of the balcony, though, because, you know, at least we don't have to worry about stuff from downstairs. And we could probably kite stuff around up here if we had to. Okay, we got three Zeeks. Um, let's see what we're dealing with here. Hazmat. That guy. Let's let him... Let's let him out. Yeah, let's just let them both out. What the hell? Down with the sickness. Now, <laughs> now we woke him up in that room. Of course we did. Okay. So... We still have a Zeke in here. Are they not awake? Here, let's close that door. It shows a Zom right over here. Okay. All right, you're dead. Oh, she just <laughs> she just ran right through the door, lady. Ah, shit. They're so fast, man. You just have to time your sledge just right to kill them. Okay, she should bleed out before she breaks the door. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, let's grab, see if we can get a bandage. We got hurt just a little bit. Yeah, we'll take the blood bags. All right, I'm not, well, we better check these. We could get a backpack upgrade and a washing machine. I think the last one I checked, in fact, or the last one that I got, um, a backpack from was a washing machine. Basically, any closed types of containers is what you want to check. Okay, here, we got a thing here. And a medical station here. Hey, Richard, what's going on, dude? I don't know, Victor. <laughs> let's just uh, let's just get through the tier fours first, and then we'll think about the tier fives. But I appreciate your uh, your vote of confidence there, man. Uh, we will take that, and we'll leave the brass. How about a toilet pistol? I have never found a toilet pistol in Ravenhurst. Maybe they don't even exist. I don't know. Uh, we're going to take that, because we need it for the rain catcher. And I don't think you can... Uh, I don't think you can make those. Not that I'm aware of, anyways. Um, yeah, we'll take the poop. We need it for fertilizer. We just don't want to kind of think about how we're carrying it around while we're doing our quest. So let's just not think about how that's happening. I know what. I My, my dude carries around some Ziploc bags. That's how he does it, okay? That's uh that's our story. Anything in here? Yeah, we need rotten meat for fertilizer. And we'll take bones. Bones are always good for glue. We're hungry already? Okay, let's take uh one of these. Actually, we probably better take two of those. If your hunger gets all the way down to that far, you're gonna need at least two meat stews, probably even three, but we'll go with two for now. Oh, look how dark it is, man. That's like scary dark. If we didn't have our light right now, it's like pitch black. Except for the floor. Can you imagine? Not fun. Why did I just throw my gun on the floor? That's not a good idea. Okay, let's go check this room. This is kind of just more of the same, right? All right, we'll check the medical stuff.
pretty much a repeat of the other side, but this is the men's room. Okay, that's good stuff. Okay, come on, backpack upgrade. No, but that's not bad. We can sell that for a decent amount of change. Seeds. Take them. You can basically, when you find those seed packets, you can make any kind of seed you want to. It's really nice. Okay, this is unlocked. Let's just get ready in case we have a Zeke in here taking a dookie. I don't know. Do zombies take dookies? Maybe they leave dookies instead of take them. I don't want any of that stuff. I, I suppose zombies would have to dookie because they eat people and they, you know, they still have to move it through their digestive system. All right, we'll take the magazine. I'm probably going to ditch the feathers. Of course, we're assuming their digestive systems are still intact, which is definitely not the case on all of them. It's kind of a morbid thing to think about, isn't it? There you go. Exactly, Morgan. You got it. Exactly. Okay, so we're done in here. Um, let's see. We don't want those. Oh, we don't want those. We don't want those. And we don't want those. We can make new ones. I think I'll hang on to the cloth, though. And, yeah. Okay, we're good. All right. Oh, the, we just got more bathrooms? That's kind of weird. Okay. This is a whole floor of just bathrooms. Oh, no, these are like... Okay, this is like a bunkhouse. What is this place? This is supposed to be a hostel. It's a hostile hostel. There's a utility worker. There's four Zikaroos in here. All right. Um, right. Let's do the usual. Let's see if we can... Pull one at a time without pulling all of them. Oh, so much for that. Okay, I don't think any of those guys are feral, are they? No. Okay. Light them up. Don't go that way. He's feral. Hold still! Son of a bitches are so squirrely. Okay, how much you want to bet we're going to find dollars and... Never mind. I opened it too soon. Uh, we need these to make steel armor repair kits, so those are valuable for that reason, uh, in addition to making steel armor, so we'll take that. Huh. Why do we even bother trying to be quiet? You know, they're just... We're just going to aggro them, and that's all there is to it. Did we get everybody out of this room? We'll check the water cooler. You don't even remember that far back? <laughs> Zombies don't poop. They're full of it. I see. Okay. See what's in the cardboard box. Oh, we got an opportunity to find another backpack upgrade. I'm not going to take those with these lockers, so let's check them out. Take another sip of coffee here. Hello, Ari. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful... Uh, you, I guess it's Sunday for you, right? It must be Sunday for you. Ari lives in New Zealand, I believe, right? Is that correct? Um, more leather for us to get. Sounds like we got some Zeeks outside. Oh, shit! Here, close that door. Off with your head. All right, what are we dealing with here? We're dealing with stuff that's not very nice. Okay, time to run around the room. And what we're going to do is we're going to get out here. And we're going to go through here. And we're going to get out this way. And we're going to do this. Throw it a little too soon, unfortunately. Oh, shit. I'm stuck. Not good. Not good. Get out of here. Back up. We got this. We totally got this. 
See, I thought they were closer behind me, so that first bomb that I threw didn't uh, didn't quite work. All right, we're infected. Um, let's finish this room. We'll go back down to the mini bike, and we'll get a uh, honey to take care of that. Whew, okay, never a dull moment. Gotta love our very first tier four quest in Ravenhurst. That's pretty nice. I don't really use hunting rifles. We could turn it into a sniper rifle, but I don't have any skill in uh, in rifles, unfortunately. No dead eye skill. Come on, backpack upgrade. Uh, okay, we'll take that. I'm probably gonna scrap it for the uh, military fiber, though. Another puffer coat. Whoops. As soon as you remove something from a container in Ravenhurst, you can't put it back. Uh, that's all cell-worthy. That is not worth a shit. That's not worth anything. Come on, backpack upgrade. Nope. It is so dark out, man. It's just creepy as all get out. Uh, we already know how to make that, uh, but I'm waiting for my skill to get a little bit better before we do. Who's coming? Who else is coming? Are we good? Okay. There we go. We'll take that. We might want to switch to light armor at some point. All right. I think we've looted this room, and I think we've finished the second floor of our first tier four quest. We still have the upstairs in the satchel. But before we do that, we're going to go back down to the mini bike and drop a few things off, and I need to take a honey because we are infected. So the bike is down here. Whoop. Why can't I jump up on that? Weird. Okay, any monsters around? I don't think so. Shh. Can't believe how freaking dark it is out here. Can like see ten feet in front of you, maybe. All right, so we put a few things in there. Let's uh, throw back a honey. That takes care of our infection, or will take care of it eventually. All right, what is this worth? 130, because I already have one. Um, we're going to have to have a come-to-Jesus meeting with some of our inventory. Here, shit. Where are you? He didn't see me. I spoke too soon. Where, where are you going, dude? <laughs> oh, it's a distraction tactic. Holy shit. 